Hello, this is Kevin with Eliana Heating in Cedar Lake, Indiana. Today I'm going to do a test of a CO Experts low level carbon monoxide detector. You can see I've got the CO Experts sitting on my desk in regular air with zero parts per million of carbon monoxide displayed. Uh, I've got a Kida brand a battery powered carbon monoxide detector that you buy from one of the big box stores that most people are going to have in their homes. And here I've got my tank of um, CO Experts carbon monoxide test gas at 100 parts per million. I've actually got some in this bag already from an earlier test. This uh, off the shelf CO monitor has not made a peep uh, since it's been in here for a couple of hours. With uh, our off the shelf CO monitor, it's kind of hard to see. This light here will flash a little green dot every once in a while, but I just want to show that I pushed this test button and there you saw the light. And we are. We are on and working, and we're, we're tested. I just wanna show that it is in fact powered up. We are in fact um, adding some CO to the bag, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a couple squirts here. Okay. I'm then going to take the CO monitor and put it in the bag with it. All right, so the CO Experts monitor is in the bag. Um, I've just placed it in there. It's gonna take a little bit for the monitor to register the level that it's measuring as well as the air to mix in the bag after I've opened it there. Uh, we'll give it just a couple of minutes. If it doesn't register, I'll go ahead and add a little bit more to the bag and and we'll see where we're at. I don't know if any of it got out when I opened the bag. All right, we'll see here that the CO Experts monitor is reading nine parts per million. If it gets to 10, we should get an audible alarm. There's 10 parts per million. We'll give it a minute or so. And there's the alarm. So it'll continue to alarm at, as we see here, 10 parts per million, 25, 35, 50, and over 50 we'll see high, but all those levels we will have uh, an alert and it'll display the actual parts per million that it's measuring. Uh, a UL or CSA listed monitor will give zero warnings at seven parts per million or 10 or 25 or 35 or 50, uh, it's gotta be up to 70 parts per million and there's not gonna be an alarm for an hour. So it's gotta be a long-term exposure to 70 parts per million or more. Whereas with the CO experts, we can see that even at 10 parts per million, we're getting a visual, we're getting an audible alarm and we're getting a visual display of uh, what we've got going on. So I'm gonna let this sit for a couple of minutes here. We'll see if that level continues to rise. And there we are, we've got 13 parts per million. We got another alarm. I'm gonna hit silence, which is gonna give me four minutes uh, without any alarm from this. And uh, when it goes off the next time, in four minutes from now, I'll see what parts per million it's registered and we'll see if the, the other off the shelf CO monitor has made a peep yet. Here we can see that the CO experts alarm is at 25 parts per million. It's once again giving an audible alarm. We'll wait for a second here and see if it now we're at 26, we'll see if it gives off another audible alarm or not. So there's that audible alarm showing 26 parts per million. We still have nothing from our off the shelf uh, CO monitor. I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, CO experts out of the bag here a second. If I can do that while still filming. And we'll show that that goes back to zero parts per million. I'll leave the, uh, the other one in the bag, see if it ever does go off. I don't think it will at that level. So here at 26, as we get it out into fresh air here, see it's going down for 25. I think it might be doing some averaging here. It's probably why it's coming down a little bit slowly. 23, 21. still alarming, it's still recognizing that we're a higher level than it wants to be. So here we see seven parts per million. We shouldn't be getting any more alarms from it. As it continues on its way back down to zero parts per million, which is hopefully what the office I'm sitting in is at. And there we are. So it shows zero parts per million. 
I'm still monitoring at this point in time. I'm sure if I put it back in that bag, we'd get an alarm right away again. It just goes to show you the difference in sensitivity between the low level activity uh, CO monitor and the standard off the shelf monitor that most people have in their homes. Um, you might have a lot of folks that have persistent low levels of carbon monoxide that are having very real effects on their health and they just simply don't know it because they don't have the equipment that's monitoring it. Ileana Heating, Cedar Lake, Indiana. IlianaHeating.net, 219-365-0006.